Hi everyone, we are back with another war video today, and this is going to be war number four. We are going to be going up against Legion. I'm going to be bringing in Crossbones, Kate, and Mangog. Um, pretty quick war for me, this one, just five fights. Uh, Mangog's just coming along for the Crossbones synergy. Um, but yeah, this is going to be Crossbones' debut, so I'm excited to use him. Um, we're going to be going up path two to start, and then path five. For this first fight, we're going to be using Kate for Scorpion here. I did debate using Crossbones, but I figured I would just use Kate. Um, I use a Power Start 1 to get our Cold Snap up quick. And I do make a mistake here. Uh, going in, my plan was to bait a Heavy um, and then punish with a full combo into my Special 1 to get the Cold Snap up, and, you know, push him towards the corner. And then literally here, as I'm running, as Kate's running towards Scorpion, I'm like, I'll just evade counter instead. Which triggered his Scorpion sense, and we get punished. Thankfully, he doesn't full combo into us. Um, but yeah, that was just stupid by me. I don't know why I decided to make a last second decision like that, but I did. Um, but now, things are under control. We didn't take too much damage, so it wasn't a big deal. We have one cold snap up. Here comes our second one. And we have our evade counter ready, so our evade counter... Heavy into the corner to keep refresh the debuffs, and he's down. So, yeah, minor mistake, but um, we were able to recover, and it wasn't a big deal. But um, I do take that same fight in the current war going on, and I decide not to be an idiot. So, learning from my mistakes. <laughs> um, this next fight, we are going to be using Kate versus um, Mojo here. Nothing really on this node. Um, it does have Sadist, I believe, so her... Um, or Mojo's damage will be um, a little higher from the debuffs we're placing. Um, this is me, sorry, just backing in and out to make sure my uh, pre-fight applied. Um, but we just got to use the Power Start one here. Um, for this one, I am going to evade counter at the beginning because there's no reason not to. Um, that way we don't actually accidentally trigger Dexterity or anything. Um, so evade counter, full combo into our special one. It's going to push him towards the corner, and then now we can just parry heavy to keep him in the corner. Um, he's more likely to throw his special ones, so we just got to watch out for that. We're going to throw our second special one here to get the two cold snap up, and yeah, now we're doing tons of damage. We'll take the special one to block sometimes just to be extra safe. Combo here, evade counter, heavy into the corner. He's going to throw the next special one. Um, yeah. This fight's over. Super straightforward, super easy Kate fight. Uh, the only way you can get dangerous is if you accidentally trigger Dexterity and um, you trigger Unstoppable because you don't have a slow up, but otherwise, pretty easy. Um, these next two fights I was a little worried about. This one I've done before, but it wasn't Ascended Quicksilver, so I was a little nervous because of that. Um, the plan here is to bait a heavy. From there, there was some weird thing happened, so I backed out. Um, the plan here is to bait a heavy and then full combo into our special one and get the cold snap up. Um, that way he won't evade us if we parry and heavy him to keep him in the corner. Um, we do want to also bait the heavy so that we get some distance so that we can get our evade counter to get our intercept. So here we're going to hit into him, bait the heavy, full combo into our special one. And we now have the cold snap. Now I want to evade counter from his medium, which I do there. Heavy, he's back in the corner. He's gonna throw the special ones, and because of the crush or whatever the debuff is, he is gonna be a lot more likely to um, throw that special one, so he does have the chance of getting his uh, terminal velocity sooner. Now there was a big lag spike, so that made me nervous. Here we get a heavy counter just to keep that one back up. Parry, special one, get our second cold snap up. Uh, the protection's still up, so I am trying to get a evade counter here. For some reason, my parry to evade counter just doesn't seem to work. There, we take some damage from, again, his unblockable special one. Now the fight's almost over, so we're going to combo here with our relic, heavy counter, and he goes down. So, a little sloppy there. Um, again, that lag, and then I, I just was having trouble getting the evade counter to work versus him, which I don't usually have issues, so just sloppy play for me, and... Yeah, it's going to cost us some potions. Um, and then this next one was the one I was mo more worried about. Similar issue here with uh, Werewolf by Night. 
His medium is a little awkward, um, so I was worried about the evade counter. The other issue is obviously this has Mighty Charge, so he's going to shrug the debuffs that I place on him, which means his Rupture Damage will get through a bit. The other worrying part is once he gets his 10 charges, um, he will go unstoppable from his heavy attacks and from his specials, which can be dangerous because, again, this has Mighty Charge. He'll shrug my slows I place on him. So it can get pretty uh, scary for that reason. So here we go, beta heavy, like a one, two, full combo into a special one. And now we want to get an evade counter in here by parrying. I have trouble doing it there, so I try and back up to get some space. I accidentally switched the tranquilize arrow. I think I do realize it. But as you can see, the ruptures are getting through. We're going to lose our combo here. Heavy to get refresh our debuffs here. I am gonna try and change to my arrow, which I do successfully do. So, back on the cold snap, we need an evade counter, which we get. We're gonna try and heavy him in the corner, which we do successfully. He's gonna throw the special one. Thankfully, he did it before doing a medium dash, so my debuff stuck. But now you can see he reaches 10 charges, so now his specials are gonna be unblockable at the tail end of it, I think. Yeah, so now he's unblockable and unstoppable, so we gotta wait it out. I'm trying to get an evade counter here. We get it, but it did not count as an intercept, and so now I'm like just wanting him to die. We had the seven ruptures on us, and he does go down. So, yeah, not the cleanest fight. I, I really don't like that fight, and I, I can't think of a better counter though either, so we'll just have to figure out what we're gonna do next time. Um, next we have the Photon here on node 48. This is the reason I brought Crossbones. Um, I've been usually take using Mantis, but Crossbones seems to be the better option here. Um, main thing here is I don't want to parry, and I want to make sure I get my heavies in to keep my charges, or my furies, paused. Um, it's very easy to heavy counter Photon's heavy attack with your own, so that makes it nice and easy. You'll see I do that here. Pause it there. Um, when we have our three Furies up, we shouldn't be triggering the um, the impact that she would get from us doing combos or the prowess. So that's what you'll see. She's not going to gain any of the impact charges or prowess. Here, I do accidentally parry. And I, for some reason, struggle to dex her special too. It really pisses me off. Um, <laughs> I always miss the tail end of it. But we're still in a fine spot. We ran the invul for that reason. Here, we're going to heavy counter again. Pause our, diva, our Furies. We're going to try our best to only bait special ones, um, but as you can see, we're doing plenty of damage. We have our special ones to just get more Furies up. She only has six charges so far. Here we're going to Relic. I see her health really low, so I decided to go for it instead of heavying into it. And this special one is going to end it. So really happy with that fight and how it went, besides obviously the missed special two decks at the end, but not bad. And our battle group does get a second donut in a row, so really happy with how we've been performing. I cannot take much credit as both uh, Clown and PWF did most of the planning this war, though. Um, unfortunately, we do lose this war, though, um, four to six, so not our strongest performance. Um, and this does bring us to one and three, so not in a great spot. Um, but our deaths haven't been too bad, so I think we just got to keep it up and hopefully get some better matchmaking. But we'll see if we can pick it up in the next war. That's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you for watching.